Janet has a question here. My research into sheep sorrel suggests that we shouldn't eat so much and especially not eat it raw. Wikipedia says it's not very nutritious and is toxic in large amounts because of oxalates. With it growing wild in my garden, I've been eating it, but only rarely. Would you share your opinion on this in more detail and how much you eat and use it? Well, this is a, a patch of sheep sorrel, wild in the pasture. This is the flower actually, all the way across here, a little tiny seed. Um, and um, I eat it most days. I'll have a nibble on some. I mean, everything, there it is there. Everything in moderation. I mean, I think eating two or three leaves a day won't do much to you. I mean, spinach is dangerous to eat too much of if it's not well cooked because of oxalates, but you've got to eat a lot of it. Uh, comfrey, I mean, uh, like they say, com comfrey is toxic. I mean, yeah, if you eat like, you know, um, a few kilos of comfrey every, every week, I mean, like 10 kilos of comfrey every week would be quite dangerous, but like nobody's going to do that. Water's dangerous if you drink too much water, actually. Um, so almost anything's toxic if you if you have too much of it. Um, this is a nice little taste, chopping a little bit in salad every day. I don't think it'll do you any harm at all. Um, but um, you know, pharmacy, you know, pharmaceuticals don't really want us to look after ourselves this way. I mean, I think you'd know if you ate too much sheep sorrel. It it'd probably give you flatulence if it's got a lot of oxalates. Um, and it's surprising how much um, you would have to eat on a lot of those uh, herbs that have the same, the same warning that, you know, you've got too many oxalates um, and you could eat too much of it. Um, I, I don't think it would be, you know, a sensible thing, but it'd be very obvious you were eating too much of it. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, they're, they're powerful. They're all powerful. I, I make... Um, sheep sorrel as a tincture with um, natural vinegars and um, and I only only have um, oh, three or four drops a day at times uh, as a tonic and that'd be very concentrated that'd be a lot of the beneficial um, element of sheep sorrel but the oxalates won't be in there when you're making a, a, a an acid tonic a vinegar tonic a herbal tonic made with vinegar instead of alcohol so, um, yeah, it's a typical sorrel. It's kind of sharp and watery. This time of year, it's in our pastures where it's wild and it's in our garden at times and on sandy, well-drained patches. It's not as juicy as normal because a lot of its energy is going into the flower and right now the seed. So these are the tiny little seeds coming off. Um, so, yeah. That's what I reckon.